Indexing in SEO. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Navneet Kaushal and today we are diving deep into one of the most crucial aspects of SEO, indexing. I will cover how to check if your pages are indexed, how to improve indexing and some best practices to keep in mind. Let's get started. First, let's understand what is indexing and why it's important. Indexing in SEO means that search engines like Google have crawled your web page and made it accessible via its search engine. For content marketers, indexing is crucial because if page aren't indexed, they won't rank in search results or drive traffic. Generally, Google indexes pages naturally, but issues can arise, especially for new, small or very large websites with numerous pages. Fortunately, checking indexing is straightforward and there are steps to improve the chances of Google indexing your page. I will show you how to check for indexing, offer tips to enhance it and address common indexing issues. How to check for indexing? There are several different approaches to determine whether your web pages are indexed in Google search results or not. Option 1. Check manually. If you are pressed for time, you can quickly check to see whether a web page is indexed in Google search engine by using the site search functionality. Simply go to Google, type site and then page URL with no space into the search bar and then hit enter or return. Let's see how we can do it here. So as you can see, it shows my site navneetkaushal.com page indexed here. So you can see that the page is indexed. So you can see if a search results appears for URL, then the URL has been indexed into search results. However, if you don't see a result, the web page hasn't been indexed just yet. So this is another URL which is not indexed. So you can see that the search Google is not able to match any document. This is a fairly manual process. And if you are dealing with a large number of URLs, GSC will provide a more robust experience, which I will share in a while. Now let's also see how to check your site indexing. We are going to first check it through search engine index. So I'm going to type site Navneet Kaushal and just a small hint. Google have stopped showing how many pages are indexed. So you actually go to tools and it will show you 86 pages indexed. So Google has recently changed it. So you can see that 86 pages are indexed. So this is how you can check your pages are indexed or not. This simple search will show you all the pages from your site indexed in Google. Option two, Google search console. Google search console provides a comprehensive view of your index pages and any issue that might be prevent the indexing. Now let's see how to check a particular page indexing status in Google search console. GSC provides several tools that enables you to check for indexing and monitor page performance. The first approach would be to inspect a URL using GSC, input the URL question into the search bar at the top of the GSC and press enter or return. Google will then provide you the status of the URL you entered. It may take a while to load. If the URL has been indexed, as you can see in this case, you will see a green check mark along with the URL showing that URL is indexed on Google. You can also expand the page index accordingly and you can see which method Google used to discover the URL. If you are dealing with a large number of URLs, an alternative approach would be to check for indexing using that indexing page section of the Google search console. Let's go to the indexing page section of the URL search console. Here GSC will provide a table view of index URLs and a table view of URLs that are not currently indexed. For example, in our GSC account, we see that 111 URLs are not indexed and Google has provided a reason on why they are not indexed. How to improve indexing? There are several different ways to improve indexing or the rate at which Google is indexing pages from your website. Ensure that you have submitted your XML sitemap. A sitemap helps search engine find and index your pages more efficiently and quickly. WordPress and other major CMS creates XML sitemap for you automatically. Else you can use a tool like xmlsitemaps.com to generate one for you. Let's see how you can do it online. So you go to xmlsitemap.com. You actually post your website URL in the bar and just press scan. It's going to take a little while to crawl all your website pages. And uh, once all your web pages are crawled, you can just click on view sitemap details. So it will show you the full XML sitemap, which you can see here, which all URL along with the priority. And you can click and view the full XML sitemap, which will open in another tab. And you can see the way your sitemap is generated here. Once you have done this, you can go back and download your XML sitemap by clicking on this button. And once you have downloaded the sitemap, you can simply go and submit it in the Google search console. Also, it's important to add sitemap to the robert.txt. Let's, for example, how do you add that? So when you open your robert.txt file, the first line should be sitemap colon. 
the address of your sitemap. In this case, you can see sitemap Navneet Kaushal index. So you can include your sitemap in the Robert file to help search engine fight your sitemap and crawl your page more efficiently. As a best practice, you will want to ensure that you have submitted your sitemap in GSC and that there aren't any issue with the sitemap. Let's see how you can submit your URL to Google Search Console. In GSC, go to indexing, submit sitemap and here you can submit your sitemap here. Once you submit the sitemap, it will show you how many pages were submitted, was the sitemap indexed and how many pages were discovered. After you submit your sitemap, Google will provide a status message, for example, success, which indicates that they are able to retrieve your sitemap. Alternately, Google may provide a status message suggesting that there is an issue with your sitemap. Depending on your content management system, your sitemap may be updated automatically with the new web pages as they are created. However, some systems still don't automatically update your sitemap, so you will want to double check this. Request indexing. If you see in Google Search Console that a URL isn't indexed, you can always manually request that it be indexed by inspecting it. Let's see how you can do in Google Search Console. So I'll go to Google Search Console and put the particular URL in question and I will see if that URL is in Google or not. So this is one of the recent blog we did and I posted. So Google tells this URL is on Google, page is indexed. If there is any issue, Google will actually going to tell me right here. And as you can see, you can request indexing and this URL will be there. After you request indexing, Google will push your URL to the priority line for crawling and indexing. While this will work in most cases, it doesn't work 100% of the time. And if your page doesn't index after you manually request indexing, there may be other issues that you need to address. Also, Google will limit the number of pages that you can request indexing on per day. I am typically able to request indexing on 10 to 15 URLs per day and it does take some time to manually go through this process. Now let's see how we can fix indexing error which shows up in Google Search Console. We go to the page indexing section and we see the pages which are not found. So there are the examples with Google Search Console shares. It shares pages with redirect, pages which has no indexing tag. So all the issues are shown here by the Google Search Console and I can see if these are the pages which I need to be indexed. I can also click on the pages for example, it shows there are URLs which are currently not indexed. So I can choose which page to be done or not. Fixing these errors can help ensure that all your important pages are indexed. Use Google indexing API. If you are creating a large number of pages for job listing or events, you can also use the indexing API to request indexing of your pages at a scale. Create fantastic content consistently. Getting into a rhythm is so important. If you create fantastic content consistently, for example, a couple of times per week, Google will start to pay more attention to your website and expect new valuable web pages. While you don't need to be publishing content every day, publishing content on regular cadence signals to Google that they should be crawling your website more often. If Google determines that you are publishing high quality pages, they will index them faster and likely also rank them faster. Use internal links. Internal links helps Google understand how all of your web pages are interconnected and which page are important on your website. When linking internally, you want to make sure that you are prioritizing internal links to the most important pages on your website. In general, if you see a good opportunity to internally link from a new web page to another web page on your website, you should do it so if it will be helpful for the user navigating your website. If you've got a number of web pages failing to be indexed naturally, you could try adding internal linking pointing to those URLs from other index URLs on your website. Avoid large amount of thin content. Thin content has many definitions and there are many different types of thin content. In short, a web page with little substance is a thin content. Often thin content means too few words on the page. However, thin content could also be content that provides little value. It's a duplicate content or is overly promoted or is spammy or is a doorway page or has a lot of AI generated content which Google actually penalized in the March 2024 update. If you have a large number of thin or unhelpful pages, in theory, you are discouraging Google from crawling and indexing the new pages you created on your website because they will predict that the new pages are likely low quality too. How often is Google crawling my site? In GSC, under settings, you go to the crawl stats. Here I go open report and you can see how often Google is crawling my website, which fairly tells you how much Google is liking your website. Finally, let's talk about some best practices for maintaining good indexing. Number one, keep content fresh. Fresh content can encourage search engines to crawl your site more frequently. 
Number two, monitor indexing regularly. Regular monitoring helps you catch and fix issues early. Number three, use canonical tags. Canonical tags help ensure search engines know which version of the page to index. Number four, optimize site structure. A well-structured site helps search engine and users find your content easily. Number five, use last modification tags. For example, if I go to our website, XML sitemap, and you can see when was the last, modi last page was modified. You can also modify this for Google to index your page fast and ensure that it is not something which is very, very old. So that is also very important. And that's a wrap. Indexing is a critical part of SEO and by following these steps, you can ensure your site is properly indexed and performing well in search results. Also, now you are clear with how to get your pages indexed. It's time to write content based on topical map of your site. And I got an exact video for this, which you can see on your screen right now. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more SEO tips and tricks. And thanks for watching. Cheers.